Hello, 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 everything Pisces. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you. They said, look at those two. What was those two? Somebody's gossiping. And this is, I do not compare myself to other people. I stay in my own lane. So somebody could be gossiping about you, Pisces. I didn't even finish getting the shit out. <laughs> um, the whole intro before they start giving us messages. But someone may be talking about you, gossiping about you. You out here standing in your own lane. You ain't comparing yourself to other people. You doing you. And they mad about it. Somebody talking about it. We'll see if they pop back out. If that was part of the story or if that's just a side note for somebody. But uh, could y'all like, subscribe, comment, and share, guys? Hit the thumbs up. It helps. I need the help. Okay, guys? Um, <clears throat> thank you. And please go check out my other channels. Tanya's Tarot, I've had for three years. And I still haven't got to 3,000 subs over there. Um, I've had this channel two years. It'll be two years next month. September. No. Let me take that back. It'll be two years for this channel in January. It'll be a year for Purple Priestess in October. And I started Tanya's Tarot in September. So September will be starting. I'll be going into my fourth year. Okay? For Tanya's Tarot. And I don't have, I don't even have 3,000 subs over there. So please go check that out. I know y'all like them. Get back into the read. But it is what it is. And my purple pieces I just started, guys. Um, like I said, it's almost a year for that one. And it's doing pretty good. I'm almost at 2,000 subs over there. So go check me out. Help a girl out. Um, if you like the way I read, all the channels have different kind of reads, okay? So you're not going to get the repeat information. It is different information. And you don't have to be a Pisces to check out those other channels. And if you're over here watching from the other channels, you don't have to be a Pisces to watch this channel. Take what resonates. And leave what does in my love, okay? Personals are open, tips, donations, all the good stuff is down below in the description box. Look, and it came out. It came out. I do not compare myself to other people. I stay in my own lane. Right. <laughs> so there is somebody. <laughs> it says everything is always extreme with this karmic over the top. So there is somebody here that's mad. And and they go to the extreme. So this is this is somebody they may have mental issues, they may not. Um, but this is somebody this is always with the extras. You know what I'm saying? It's this person that be out and about, they always loud, causing a scene, always in the middle of some drama, some type of place, some type of where, you know, got you the group. It's just always bullshit with this person, right? That's that type of person this is, right? And then they extra with it. Like it says extreme. They extreme. It's past extra. They are extreme. With, with whatever it is they are doing. And they're mad. So there is someone around you that's a karmic. This could be a family, a friend. This could be um, someone you were in some type of romantic connection with, right? They're mad because they see you ascending to the next level. They see you out here in your own lane. You're doing your own shit here, Pisces. And somebody mad. Somebody want to come towards you? Huh. Okay, so I'm not even going to tell you. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I am. Listen, yes, you are. Okay. So, I got two thoughts. Okay, if you are a female Pisces, this may be another female, right? This may be a female who is into females, right? Same-sex connections here. You may or may not be into the same-sex Pisces, but this does not mean that this karmic is not into the same sex. And I said that, but you know what? It could be for you too, male Pisces, because I want to lick you up and down can go either way. You know what I'm saying? They may want to lick your stick, so... I was at first my first thought in my head, the first visual I got when I seen this was a vagina being licked. So that's why I said woman, but I can't just I cannot just leave this to just women. You can have a homeboy here, Pisces, um, man, that may want to lick you up and down. You may or may not know that they are bisexual. You may or may not know this person. This person may know you through outside people. Um, they may have seen you on Facebook or one of your Instagrams or you know, I mean, one of your social media uh, pages or something like that. You may know this person directly. Same thing for you, female Pisces, okay? This may be a woman that you know. This may be a woman attached to somebody that you know. But this is a same-sex connection. 
this is I, I got a same sex this is so this is like a homegirl or a friend this is like a homeboy or a friend that is watching you ascend to the next level here they see you in your own lane they see that you don't compare yourself to nobody else right but this person everything with this person is always over the top and they like you they into you they want to lick you up and down they are sexually attracted to you here and the thing is this person want to go with you wherever you going they want to go with this ford somebody may drive a ford um but you know guys if you watch me you know anytime any kind of car pops out it don't matter what the brand is it's always about movement travel this person want to go with you to this next level i'm not sure you're taking this person with you to this next level because they're karmic. Everything with them is always over, over the top. They're extreme. Like, this is a lot of negative energy here. They may try to come on to you sexually here as well. I'm just going to tell y'all. Huh? This person may invite y'all out to the movies and, you know, just like a regular guy date or a girl date or, you know what I'm saying? And they may come on to you. They may even, um, yeah. They want to do, I don't want to say they want to do something to you, but they may be trying to set you up, okay? If somebody invites you to the movies, a friend, an ex, I wouldn't go. Because it says ancestors on a rampage about you. They were warned but did not listen. So whatever this karmic is doing, somebody could be, like I said, this karmic energy could be trying to set you up. They see you ascending to the next level, and I feel like you're leaving this person behind. You're not letting this person go with you. This could be somebody, if it's not same sex, this could be somebody you were in a sexual relationship with. But you're not allowing this person to go with you, okay? So if it's not same sex for everybody I heard, okay? But for a lot of you guys, it's a friend that's your same sex that is upset, that you're ascending to the next level and you're not taking them with you but they could also be attracted to you want to be with you want you sexually here for others like i said if it's just if it's opposite sex this is somebody you've already had sex with same sex or straight that sees you ascending and you're moving on without them and they're mad and they may come in and invite you out to the movies but it's a setup it's a setup. Yeah, this person could have cheated on you. Why did you or I cheat? Hmm. Oh. Okay, Pisces, I just got another story, okay? So, if those other two didn't resonate with you, this one might. This could be somebody that you had sex with here, guys, that went to a karmic that's over the top. This karmic is in comparison to you. They see you, you know, out here doing your shit, standing in your own lane. They see you ascending to the next level. And now your person... Is tripping off the fact that they went towards this karmic and didn't stay with you. They may want to move forward and come back towards you as well. I can't get you off my mind, yeah. Okay, so this <laughs> this could be somebody that you've already had sex with, man or woman. Um, excuse me, y'all. <coughs> man or woman that uh went towards a karmic. This karmic is in comparison with you. They see you not tripping. You straight. You doing your shit here, Pisces. They see you coming up. Your person can see you coming up. And now they want to come back towards you. The It's a gay, happy, love, and peace. So it could be same-sex connection. Somebody could just want to be happy here. Yeah, this could be a mama's boy. Okay. This mama boy listen to their mama. Or daddy's girl listen to their mama. Or they daddy. And went towards this karmic. And now everything over the top. Everything is stream. They stress the fuck out here. Look, I got a truck too. Somebody might drive a Ford truck. Well, that's movement though. They move when they getting up out of there. Yeah, they could be dealing with somebody younger. 20 to 30 years old. 20 to 39 years old may be significant. Look, yeah, they could have been a sugar daddy. I'm telling you. They was dealing with somebody younger. And now they going through the shit because this bitch is, is extreme and karmic over the fucking top. And they sitting here watching you ascend. Hmm. 
Yeah, so this is pretty up. And now they're fighting with family and our friends. Because these same family and our friends told them to go towards this karmic. And shit is horrible. You could be a tarot reader. Or you got a tarot reading. They, this karmic could be getting tarot readers or be a tarot reader. If you a tarot reader, the family could have told them to go towards this karmic because you a tarot reader. And now this person is sitting back watching you and your tarot readings ascend to the next level. Yeah. <laughs> ancestors got your back. Don't worry. They should. This karmic did some shit, y'all. That's twice. The ancestors warned them and they didn't listen. And the ancestors got your back. Don't worry. They should. So whoever this, this karmic ass energy is, whatever this extreme shit they did, they possibly sent some shit towards you here, Pisces. Possibly because they know this person want to come back towards you. This person sees you ascending. They don't want this person to leave them. And you out here standing in your own lane. You ain't. You may, may or may not even know about this shit. Because you don't compare yourself to other people. You stay in your lane. You do your shit. If you are a tarot reader, you out here reading your shit. Whether you post it for other people. Whether you do personal. Whatever it is you do. If you just pulling for yourself. Whatever you do. You could just be spiritual. You could just watch it. They don't like that. They don't like the fact you went to tarot, period. Whether you pull cards or don't pull cards, you watch it. And they family don't like that. So they told them to go towards this younger motherfucker, man or woman. And what happened? They ran into somebody that was extreme. Everything is always over the top of this person. And they sitting back and they watching you ascend to the next level. Yeah. They went towards somebody that was Hollywood, acting fake, not real. Yeah, this person was trying to control. This person was trying to control. The karma was trying to control your person, and this person's family was trying to control them. It says, stop trying to control other people when you can't even control yourself. God. The karmic and the family. Look, I got that gay again. Happy, loving, peaceful. Yeah, somebody auntie or cousin could have been all in this person's ear. Somebody auntie or cousin could have introduced them to this karmic. Yeah. And this karmic didn't give a fuck. I really don't give a fuck. It's all about me. That's that karmic energy. It was all about them. And now your person is sitting back Pisces losing they fucking shit. Because they allowed this third party to come in. The little young person. They thought they came up. You know what I'm saying? They got this little young bitch. Young man. You know, sugar mama, sugar daddy. Whichever the case may be. And they was out here. You know, family pumping them up. You know, they think they the shit because they didn't got this little young thing. Man or woman, you know. Family thought they was going to come up off of something. They use whatever it is you do here, Pisces, against you. Even if it's not terror reading, it's something about you that they didn't like. Something they felt did not go along with their family, their situation. And they told this person not to deal with you because of that. They pushed this person towards this karmic ass energy here. And now your person and the karmic and the family are all sitting back. Watching you ascend to the next motherfucking le level here. That dick wasn't that good for you to keep getting played. You walked away from that shit. Clarify, I do not compare myself to other people. Yeah, you the optimist, Pisces. You out here, you optimist. You're optimistic about your life, what you got going on. You don't allow this negative ass shit into... Your life. And this is why you're ascending to the next level here. Yeah, whoever this karma is, they insecure. They fucking insecure. That's why everything is always extreme with this karmic over the top. Yeah, see, they were talking to somebody, the advisor. Told you. The family told their asses to go towards this karmic. Could have been an auntie or a cousin, because that did show up. And... They gave them the wrong fucking advice. <laughs> Clarify and send it to the next level. Pisces energy. Yeah, this is the bachelor. This your person watching you ascend to the next motherfucking level. Because he got the wrong advice and went towards this karmic. You over here optimistic. You, you coming up. This person could also be reminiscing about the times you guys slept together. But this is someone... Um, you've had sex with. This is someone you've slept with, okay? This is an ex that you've had romantic connections with that went towards a third party because of because of something their family said. That's why I want to lick you up and down. 
Look, it says here to make friends, and it came out in reverse. This person could have just wanted sex. This karma could have just wanted sex with this person. Now they want to come towards you and open up. Oh, so in the past, they thank you, Spirit. In the past, they treated you like they just wanted sex with you. This could be why you moved on. And they moved on to this karmic. Yeah, now they want to come in and open up. Can I find the optimist? Yeah, yeah. He says, for the right reasons. So you do everything for the right reasons here, okay? And I got the rose ceremony. Now they want to come give you the rose. All for the right reasons now. Now they could have went... <laughs> They, if they had a child with this karmic, they could have went towards this karmic because of a child or because this karmic could have said they were pregnant. Clarify this advisor. But now they want to come give you the rose. They see you the right one now. Clarify the advisor. Yeah, look, they moving out this house. Hometown in reverse is somebody they knew from their past. The camera guy, this the motherfucker watching in the background. I'm telling you, the family, the friend. They watching everything. They video recording. This is this is funny to them watching this motherfucker go through all this karma. Because everything over the top. They could have a whole motherfucking TV show with the shit that this karma do. This karma shows their ass. And you over here living in paradise, babies. You ascended to the next level. You over here living in paradise. You unbothered. And this masculine energy is getting to watch you. Man or woman. Clarify a sin. I mean, not a sin. Clarify the bachelor. Clarify the bachelor. Yeah. Knight of Roses. The front runner. <laughs> he not the front runner. In reverse. Stop coming. Now, now he can't come towards you. All he can do is sit and watch you ascend. And it's a group of these motherfuckers watching you with this group D. The family watching you. The bachelor is watching you. And the karmic is watching you. Ascend to the next level. Clarify, I want to lick you up. I'm not going to clarify uh, the three of flutes in reverse. That's what I'm clarifying. <laughs> Here you go, the bachelorette. You got to, you got to fuck on. I see you got on. Because this person just wanted to have sex with you. You'd rather be single than to be somebody's plaything. Yeah, you moved forward and took this leap of faith. And now you ascending to the next level. And you over here standing in your lane, not comparing yourself to nobody else. Now this person want to come back towards you. Look, this four, they on their way towards you. Yeah, cost me with a ring. <laughs> I'm telling you, they want to give it to you. They coming. Yeah, they want to come celebrate with you now at the cocktail party. They want to see in with you. Look, look at your fans watching. Yeah, you got fans and they watch you so much that the family, the friends, your bachelor, masculine energy, man or woman, and these karmics are your fucking fans. Tell them hi, babies. Yeah, because you the winner. You win. Challenge winner. Six of Roses. You win. Yeah, but I feel like you moved yourself. It says self-elimination. You took yourself out of this. You walked away. That's the Eight of Cups. You removed yourself from this situation. Yeah, and locked your heart up. Because I feel like this person was trying to hold on to you and to this karmic. Yeah, you hopped in your shit and got ghosts. You, you chose the limbo. You went towards your light. And now this person can't do nothing but watch you a sin. They watching you come up. They said this that. Pisces. They want to come touch you, baby, okay? They want some privacy. They want you to put your hands all over them. Like, they want to put their hands all over you, excuse me. They want you to touch it. <laughs> they can hear your body calling them, Pisces. What's going on? Clarify this read for me for my Pisces. What do they need to know? They can't wait to put their hands all over you. Uh, it says your person needs to be honest about their sexuality. They they may be into um, same sex. They may have a sex addiction. Doesn't necessarily have to be into um, the same sex. But they could, they could have had a sex addiction here. If, if not into the same sex. 
But they want to come towards you now and tell you that they're ready for marriage and commitment. They want you to know that they have secretly been watching you. They feel stupid for how they treated you. Now they want to come in and have equality, fair exchanges in, in this connection of balance. Because they see you as a true friend. Ain't that about it. Uh, let's see what they want to say. We'll use this stuff real fast. Uh, <laughs> these cards don't go, but I'm going to show y'all what they say. I'm going to leave them out too. Because I feel like they came out for a reason. They're being divinely guided at this point because they are able to be their true selves when they're with you. They're now listening to their intuition instead of listening to these family and friends. If they live with this person, they are moving out. That ten of um, pentacles in reverse. They're ending a family situation. this person feels about Pisces at this time. You're the only person I've ever felt comfortable enough to just be myself. That's twice. I told you this came out for a reason. They are their true self when they're with you and you're the only person that has allowed them to be their true self. They, you're the only person they've ever felt comfortable around to be their true self, to let their guard down. Tell me more. What do they want to say to Pisces? They don't want to let you go. Anything else they want to say to Pisces? They're looking for a sign from you that you still care. That you still want something here with them. Because they feel stupid for how they treated you. Anything else? People around them keep talking about you. I told you because you got fans, Pisces. They see you standing in your own lane. They see you not bothered. They watching you. All eyes on you, Pisces. Say cheese. <laughs> they taking pictures, baby. Hydrate, bitch. I want to. They want you to come sit on it. I'm just saying because at the bottom of the deck say I'm ready to be in a serious, committed relationship with you. What else they want to say for Pisces? Yeah, it don't feel right without you. It don't feel right without you. Anything else they want to say to Pisces? They want to come make it right, babies. I'm slowly making my way back to you. Told you. It's slow, but they coming. They, they're no longer allowing... They're no longer allowing these family and these friends, this karmic-ass energy to keep them from you. You fulfill me on an emotional and a physical level. Told you. They, they, the sex is good, and you emotionally fulfill them. They need you in their life. They realize they can't be without you. They don't want to be without you. All those, they say they miss holding and touching your skin. Told you. He says, it took me a long time to realize that I do love you. And they want to know, did you give up on us? Did you give up on us? They said, sometimes I cry about you when I'm alone. But they want to know, did you give up? Is it over? They felt like they were set in their ways, they, but they're lost without you. They want you to come sit on it or spit on it, depending on which part of the verse you're listening to. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Get y'all some zodiac slides. They nasty, y'all. Do I? I mean, minutes. We in twenty four minutes, y'all. I, I was gonna pull the sexual deck because they all over that time. Hopefully, we can get these down before it cut off too. Who is this read for for my Pisces? So Leo energy. Who else is this? Well, fire all the way. Leo Aries Sagittarius. Okay, could be their sun sign or in their placements. Capricorn. Who is this for my Pisces? Scorpio. Oh, yeah, little nasty freak freaks. Who else is this out here? Aquarius. Who else? Who else coming towards my Pisces? Little nasty freak freak selves. Aries. 
A lot of fire here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shit, Libra said it's air too. It's air too. You got a little freaky Libra out here. Give me one more. Who else is coming towards my Pisces? We got Gemini. And bottom of the deck, there you go, Pisces. So if you're a cross watcher, that confirms your Pisces, okay? So if this resonates with you, let me know. Or if you're Pisces dealing with another Pisces, confirms your Pisces, okay, babies? Um, until next time, my love, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. They stay in my head, y'all, and they still being nasty, and that's wrong. That's why I keep laughing. I know y'all like, what? It's an uncomfortable laugh. Because <laughs> they nasty. They little freaky dickies. I'm sorry. Uh, keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my fishy babies.